great start to 2021. This is my first ever video and I'll be sharing with you how I get ready for work as an Emirates cabin crew. We've got one hour until I have to leave for work, so let's get the show on the road. Okay, so my face is moisturized, hair out of the way, ready to go. I'm gonna start off by priming my lips with this Carmex lip balm. This is seriously so amazing guys, it keeps my lips nice and rejuvenated on my flights even when wearing lipstick for hours. Definitely recommend it to those of you who suffer from dry lips like I do. Next off, I'll be using the CC Illumination Cream from IT in the color Medium. I've been using the CC Cream for about 2 years now and I'm seriously so in love with it, I can probably never wear foundation again. Oh, and since I've been tanning a bit recently, my skin is a little darker than usual. So, I'm gonna mix my Tarte BB Cream in the color Medium, as this is a slightly darker shade than my current CC Cream. I do like a 70-30 ratio depending on how much I've been out in the sun, 70 being the CC Cream. So I mix the two creams together and apply this all over my face. My skin tends to get dry on the plane because sometimes we can fly for up to 17 hours which is the time it takes for me to get home to New Zealand. But this CC cream is so light it keeps my skin feeling fresh and moisturized throughout the entire flight. If you like the natural and dewy look but still some coverage, you should definitely try out this CC cream. Also, a weird thing that I do is that I never wear any makeup on my forehead. This is because we wear a hat for work and the makeup can rub off onto the inside of the hat, but mostly because I feel like the forehead can get oily sometimes and can form pimples, so I try to avoid wearing makeup in that area. I've recently started using this L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the color Beige Rose. Like my CC cream, this concealer is quite light and has minimal coverage. I do have dark circles but I like to keep my eyes looking moisturized and natural and try to avoid the concealer creasing in the wrinkles under my eyes. To set all my concealer, I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Pressed Powder in the color Soft Sand 5 and I'm using my Bobbi Brown Eye Contour Brush. Now the eyebrows, I'm using the Kiss Me Heavy Rotation Eyebrow Mascara in the color Natural Brown. This is an eyebrow mascara from Japan that I've been using for about 7 years now. I know I probably should step up my eyebrow game but I'm just so comfortable with this and it literally takes me less than a minute to do my brows. So I start from the inner side of the brow, slowly brushing it upwards and outwards and extending the ends, but making sure that I'm not pushing the brush too much against my brow to avoid smudging the mascara. For eyeshadow, I've recently purchased the Born This Way The Natural Nudes palette from Too Faced. I'm going in with the color Petal as a base all over the eye and in my crease. I'm so happy with this palette, it's definitely worth getting, it's affordable and it has all the basic colors that you need with some sparkling shades also. Now I'm going to add a bit of sparkle to my eyes by using the rose gold and applying this directly on top of my eyelid but not going above the crease. Then I'm going to use a lighter and more neutral shade called Seashell and my Bobbi Brown Eye Contour Brush to just blend out my eyeshadow. Lastly, I'm using the Glistening Snow and a pointier brush and applying this to each corner of my eyes to brighten them up a little bit. So another weird thing that I do is I like to go in with my mascara before my eyeliner. This is because once my lashes are done, it gives me an idea of how I want my eyeliner to look. I'm using my Shiseido curler to curl my lashes. 
the mascara I'm using is from Kiss Me, the same brand as my eyebrow mascara. It's for volume and curl and it's extremely waterproof so you never have to worry about it smudging. So I dab off any excess and apply this all over my lashes. You can also shake the brush a little bit from side to side to try separate the lashes from sticking together. I usually do about 2-3 to three layers of mascara, sometimes even more, depending on how thick I want my lashes to look. Some people have asked me if I have fake lashes, but no, it's just me using a lot of mascara. Oh, and a little bit of mascara for the bottom lashes as well. Okay guys, the trickiest bit, the eyeliner. I'm using this eyeliner from a Korean brand called Misha. This is the Vivid Fix Pen Liner in the color black. It's got a pointy, angled, firm brush, so it's so much easier for me to draw. Oh, and it's waterproof. Alright, here we go. I'm going to start with my left eye. Starting from the outer edge of my eye, I'm slowly drawing a thin line working through to the inner corner of my eye. Then, I'm going to go back and extend the outer end by adding more eyeliner, creating a wing. Have a wet cotton bud ready, just in case you make any mistakes. Okay, so I've made a wee mistake. I'm gonna go back and add a bit more eyeliner just to smoothen the previous line. It's a bit thicker than I would like it to be, but it's okay. For my right eye, I'm going to do the same thing but start from the inner corner of my eye and draw a thin line to the outer edge, working all the way across and then flicking the ends. Then building more and smoothening the eyeliner like the previous eye. Phew. Glad that's over. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my Bobbi Brown blush brush and my Becca Sunlit bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. This bronzer is quite pigmented so I try not to use too much. I shake off any excess and make a fish face like this and start by applying this to my cheekbones. Then I'm gonna apply some on the jawline and the hairline of my forehead. You can also make a three shape like this with your brush if it's easier. Blush time! This is my favorite part. I'm using this cream blush from Fenty Beauty. It's a number four crush on Cupid. Um, most of the time I prefer using cream products over powdered products just because I think it makes me look a little bit more natural. So I go in with my fingers and dab this all over my cheeks, blending it in to make it look nice and even. To highlight my face, I'm using this liquid highlighter from L'Oreal in the color Sparkling Love. This product is very watery so you want to make sure that you only get a couple of glow drops. I place three drops slightly above my cheekbones and a few drops on the bridge of my nose. Using one finger, I dab and blend out the highlighter and any excess I have left on my finger, I use on my eyebrow bone. Last but not least, the lips. The lip balm should be dry by now, so I'm going in with the Itel Prism Lip Pencil from the Korean brand Misha in the shade Iris. I love this deep brown red color for my lips. I start by applying this to my bottom lip and then rubbing my lips together. 
Then I line my lips, making sure that I get into all the corners and work my way around all of my lips, filling them in. This lip pencil is very matte, but it's surprisingly not dry at all. It actually has a lot of hydration and is long lasting. After I brush out all my knots, I split my hair down the middle with a comb and tie my hair in a low, tight ponytail. I'm using my L'Oreal Alnet Stronghold Hairspray, making sure that all my baby hairs are in control. Okay, now it's time for the fun. While twisting my ponytail, I wrap this around twice and secure it with another hair tie. You'll see that I have a lot of hair sticking out, so I'm gonna go ahead with my hairnet and my favorite red scrunchie to hold everything in place. I use some bobby pins on the side as well. This hairstyle is super basic, but it only takes a few minutes, which means more time to sleep before the flight. Okay, we're nearly done guys. For the last few touches, I've got my pearl earrings, my watch, and my hat and scarf. So I fold the scarf twice inwards, and then fold the scarf in half, bring it around, and tuck the ends into the folds, and we're done. to the end of my video guys thank you so much i really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please like subscribe or comment below i would love to hear your thoughts uh, stay happy stay healthy and i'll see you in my next video bye